Let's solve problem 6.45 from Merrick Electronic Circuits 8th edition by Sedrin Smith. Measurement of the IC to VCE characteristic of a small signal transistor operating at VBE equals 710 millivolts. Show that IC equals 1.1 milliamps and VCE equals 5 volts. And that IC equals 1.3 milliamps and VCE equals 15 volts. So first, let's draw what's being described here. So we have a VCE on the x-axis and volts and IC on the y-axis in milliamps. So we have 5 volts corresponds to 1.1 milliamps. And then 15 volts corresponds to 1.3. So we get some kind of linear approximated curve like this. And if we stretch out really far, eventually we'll hit the early voltage, the negative value. So the first question asks, what is the corresponding value of IC near saturation? What does this mean near saturation? That occurs when VCE is equal to 0 0.3 volts for a transistor. Now I'm interested in the slope of this curve. So that's going to be, if we do the y values, that would be 1.3 milliamps minus 1.1 milliamps, and then we'll subtract the, we'll divide by the change in the voltage. So that's 15 volts minus 5 volt. So we're getting a slope of 0 0.02 milliamp per volt. And because near saturation is when VCE equals 0 0.3 volts, that would mean the IC value near saturation would be, if we start at 1.1 milliamps, then we could subtract the slope multiplied by the change in voltage. So 5 minus 0.3. So that would be 1.006 milliamps, or in other words, can approximate to 1 milliamp. So this would be the current near saturation. At what value of VCE is IC 1.2 milliamps? Okay, so that would just be, if we start at this 5 volt point, it would be 5 volts plus uh, 1.2 volts, or sorry, 1.2 milliamps minus 1.1 milliamp, because we're trying to find at this 5 volt point 2, that we're subtracting from our starting point, and then we're going to divide that by the slope to get 10 volts, which makes sense, right? It's running between these two values. So we can add this point to the curve. Or oh, sorry, it should be 10. So VCE equals 10 volts when IC equals 1.2 milliamps. Next question, what is the value of the early voltage? So the slope of this curve can also be equated as the value of the current, collector current, at VCE equals zero, divided by the early voltage, which means early voltage can be IC at VCE, which if we just kind of look at this, so every five volts, we're losing 0 0.1 milliamps. So that means this y-intercept should just be 1 milliamp. So it's going to be 1 milliamp divided by the slope, which is 0 0.02, which is equal to uh, 50. Yeah, 50 volts. So the early voltage is 50 volts. And last question, what is the output resistance that corresponds to operation at VBE? 
equals 710 millivolts. Turns out you don't even need that VBE information because you can calculate output resistance by taking VA and dividing it by capital IC. This just corresponds to the current when VB, v, when VCE equals zero, sorry. So basically it's this Y-intercept. So that's gonna be one milliamp. So output resistance is 50 volts divided by one milliamp, which is 50 kilo ohms. And that solves all the questions from this problem. Thank you for watching my video. For any comments, questions, or video suggestions, please reach me in the comments section or by my email. Thank you and have a great day.